Hi everyone! In this video, we will learn how to make the PyCar B avoid obstacles automatically. PyCar B has three servos in total, controlling the rotation of the robot head and front wheels. The eyes of the robot are actually made by an ultrasonic distance sensor module. We are going to let the robot smartly avoid obstacles itself with these parts. Here's the principle for the auto obstacle avoidance function. Divide the front area of the robot into three functions. Set the threshold value for the obstacle's distance. The robot's head rotates from left to right to scan obstacles with ultrasonic and records the distance to obstacles in the three sections. Compare the minimum distance value with the threshold. If the minimum value is larger than the threshold, it means there's no need to avoid, so the car moves forward. If the minimum value is smaller than the threshold, we need to know which section of the three the obstacle lies in. If the closest obstacle is on the left, the robot will turn right. If it is on the right side, the robot will turn left. If the closest obstacle is in the middle, the robot will choose to avoid the closer obstacle on the left and right sections. After learning the principle, we will now turn to the code for the automatic avoidance function. Prior to the specific code, we connect to the robot terminal with mobile XTerm. Create a text folder. Copy the files ultra.py, rpi servo.py, and move py under the robot server path to our work directory. Install the dependent library for server control by sudo pip install adaptflu pca9685, which has been pre installed here for demonstration. And at last, create an automatic.py for the code of realizing the auto avoidance function. In the editor, open automatic.py to write the code. Firstly, import the libraries one by one. We find the absolute path under which the variable saves current files. Add a non import int function to obtain the initial values of PWM. Set parameters for each servo. But this is not our focus here. Let's move on. Next, initialize the servo control object SC gear. Scan norm sets the number of sections for scanning including 1, 2, and 3 sections for the left, middle, and right parts. Scan POST stands for the next position for ultrasonic scanning, with also 1, 2, and 3 representing the left, middle, and right parts. Scan DLR is the direction for robot scanning, with 1 as the leftmost and minus 1 as the rightmost. Scan list stores the distance of obstacles in the three directions. Scan servo, serial number of the servo. Scan range, angle range for servo scanning. And range keep, threshold of obstacles distance. All variables needed are defined now. Let's move on to the auto avoidance part. Based on the principle and steps mentioned above, first we need to create a code to control the pen and tilt servo to turn to the left, middle, and right areas and record the distance to obstacles in each area with the ultrasonic distance sensor module. Update scan pose and check whether it deviates. Update scan pose and check whether it deviates from the range set. If so, replace the scan DIR values and restore the position for scanning. Add mean scan list to set the minimum distance for obstacles. Compare with the threshold range kit. If it's less than threshold, it means there's no need to avoid obstacles, so the car moves forward. But if it is smaller than the threshold, we need to measure the closest obstacle, check which area it lies in, and decide the robot's direction via scan list index mean scan list. If the obstacle is in the left area, the robot will turn to the right side. If it is in the middle, the robot will turn to the direction with a larger distance of the obstacle in the left and right. If it is in the right area, the robot will turn to the left. If the distance value scanned is still within the range keep, or the minimum value is smaller than the one-third of the range keep value, it indicates the robot is too close to the obstacles and it needs to take a step backward. So far, the auto obstacle avoidance function is completed. Put it in the while true loop. Start the robot, run the program, and the robot should be able to move and avoid obstacles itself. So that's all for this video. Thanks.